Hi, I'm Liam Going, a fourth year civil engineering student at the University of Waikato, and my fourth year research and development project is towering a slope stability, involving a parametric study of key parameters. And my location of interest is the Tapapa Peninsula in Tauranga. So to briefly cover some background problems and aims with my project. Uh, so currently across Tauranga, there are many problematic areas containing sensitive soils. When a sensitive soil fails, the failure can be very destructive. Uh, currently, Tauranga City Council has a setback across parts of the city, which isn't actually helpful to many local practitioners. So my aim with my project is to provide additional information into the influence of key parameters on slope stability and assist local practitioners in determining and optimise setback distance. So to briefly walk through the method, the first step is site selection. So a desktop study was carried out and this included a review of local maps to identify potential sites to analyse. The second step was site visits um, and this included identifying significant features and taking photos that would assist us in our analysis. Uh, the third step was obtaining geotechnical data. So the New Zealand Geotechnical Database was used, and this is a database where local practitioners upload geotechnical files uh, within the area. And these files were ultimately used to correlate soil parameters and develop soil profiles. Uh, some of the significant parameters that were correlated can be found in Figure 2. So the next step was profiling, and this involved using LiDAR data downloaded from Land Information New Zealand, which was then inputted into a program called QGIS, and this ultimately enabled soil profiles to be determined, uh, as you can see in Figure 3 that shows height and length. Uh, this can then be inputted into our program that we use for slope stability, Slide 2 by Rock Science, and we were able to determine factors of safety under different conditions. Uh, those conditions you can see in Figure 4. So some of the locations that were investigated, 14th Ave and Graham Park. Um, here in the upper figure, you can see the location of the cross-section. Um, and the lower figure is the soil profile, which has been created using the geotechnical data made available from the New Zealand Geotechnical Database. Um, here are locations 3 and 4, Tauranga Intermediate and Tauranga Sports Park. So here is an example of an output from our slope stability analyses. As you can see, the cross-section, including different soil layers and different parameters, as identified on the table, and the different failure surfaces. The 1.1 is the critical failure surface, and the 1.5 and 1.2 are both queried surfaces, allowing comparison between other scenarios, and the offset distance can be seen from the crest of the slope to the failure surface. So the queried surfaces enable a comparison between scenarios. As you can see in the table, for the different scenarios, there is an additional factor of safety result. Now this is a queried surface, and allows us to measure the offset distance from the crest of the slope to that queried surface and enable comparison. Um, as you can see in the second column of the table, the required factor of safety has been um, provided by the Tauranga City Council Engineering Standard. So to briefly discuss the scenarios, um, each analysis was carried out in drain and undrained soil parameters to analyze long-term and short-term conditions. So the first condition, static groundwater table, uses a groundwater table at a depth identified from the geotechnical testing. The second, raised groundwater table, analyzes the worst case um, water conditions. So thirdly, the surcharge slope, an imposed load was applied at the crest of the slope to model the influence of structures. And this was applied to all static and raised scenarios. Uh, fourthly, a seismic case was carried out using a KH of 0 0.148 for a one over 500 recurrence interval. And this value has been provided by the Tauranga City Council specific to the Tapapa Peninsula. Uh, lastly, a sensitivity analysis has been carried out and this identifies the most influential layer by varying both geotechnical parameters. Um, an example of this can be found in the top right figure. So to briefly summarize the key findings of my project, the Matua subgroup and Rotuahu ash geological layers were found to be the most sensitive. Angular friction and cohesion identified the same inf influential layer from the sensitivity analyses. Seismic loading was the most influential parameter on the offset distance. Raised groundwater table conditions tended to have a large impact on the offset distance. Surcharge slopes had a minimal effect on stability. Additional root cohesion in the upper one metre had a small influence on the offset distance. The undrained short-term slope stability analysis provided satisfactory results across all locations. Topographic effects such as slope angle had significant effect on the offset distance. And lastly, the setback distances are intended to compare with those provided by the Tauranga City Council.